Hello gamers, it is Larson here, and today I want to make a quick video about how to properly use your Dazzle, Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I wrote a little tutorial here, and I figured out it was much easier than I thought, but um, here's a trick. Um, so here's a problem with it. So Pinnacle Studio is a video editor by Corel that comes bundled with Dazzle's. Dazzles are video capture devices. I made a video about the Dazzle before, but I figured out um, why it did not work. Um, because it comes with a disc to install Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle, and this is what confuses most people. Basically, Pinnacle Studio is a video editor, and um, Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle is included with it. It's a complimentary part you you get it complimentary if you buy a dazzle it works on dazzles that don't come bundled with the software as well as long as it's a dvc 100 but okay here's a problem the one that the da pinnacle studio for dazzle that comes with the the software is broken because it will prompt you to update the software and that updates the drivers the problem is and I really think this is silly because they really could have avoided this, is when you update the software on the disk, it will automatically unregister itself and will be like, this is not a registered copy. So um, I feel bad for anyone who's like trying to deal with this because this is not um, acceptable for a paid product. But once you get it working, then it's much better. So here's a trick. If you've been searching for a while and trying to figure out how to fix it, um, basically um, you have to install the Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle on this link right here, which is on their website. Um, and then that's an online base installer that um, installs it online and installs the latest version of the driver as well, which is 1.09. And there's a lot of people who think that the Dazzle doesn't work properly on Windows 10 and Windows 11 because, because it gets choppy audio or bad video. That's because Dazzle made a driver to fix it, or rather Corel. But, um, yeah. So basically you need to use the online installer, which is linked in this post right here. So yeah, um, you can just copy that link down right here. cdn.pinnaclesys slash release slash psd pinnacles for dazzle esd.exe. It will require you to plug in the dazzle as part of the installation process. But um, I haven't really messed around with Pinnacle Studio too much, but I know that the newer versions cost money. If you do install it, it'll make it look like you have to upgrade, but you don't. You can just press the import button to start importing your stuff. Um, so yeah, it works on Windows 10, the latest version of Windows 10, and the latest version of Windows 11, contrary to popular belief. So, yeah, I don't know why uh, installing then updating from the disk breaks it. That's, I, I don't know, because I guess part of the problem was people were cracking Pinnacle Studio, the newer versions, and Corel patched it, and so there's not, no longer a crack that works for it. Or someone used the key gen that came with it and started generating keys. Um, so I wonder if they, because they patched that loophole, if they did, that might have broke the registration. Anyway, um, I, did, I did call Corel about this a minute ago. They just said they had a case number and that they would get back to me. But I'm not sure about that because people are saying their support isn't very good. Also, Dazzle doesn't work on Macs at all. I If you use a VM, it will work. Um, but... I have an M1 Pro MacBook Pro, which is ARM-based, so I can only run Windows 11 ARM, which, and Dazzle's not compatible with ARM devices. So yeah, that's basically all I want to say. So once you get the issue settled with your Dazzle, it will be much more easy to capture with it, and you'll have less problems. Bye.